right, in this video, we are going to go over the iTunes store. Now, this is going to where you're going to buy everything. So, starting here down the bottom left, uh, you got your music. Uh, kind of go back through here. You can click on movies. Uh, this will be all the new releases or any movies that is that are available on the iTunes uh, store. Now you can click on TV shows, same thing. All the browsing is going to be very, very similar. Uh, ping, it's uh, you have to sign in and that's a way to uh, share music. Click on podcasts if you knew you got to heard from a friend or you want to check out just some free content that are available on podcasts. You can go ahead and do that. Audiobooks, great way to, uh, to find new music, or not music, uh, new books that are on tape, or I should say your iPad. Now you can just listen to them in your car or wherever. iTunes University, if you're a student or if you're just um, always learning, you can go to these books and you can find books directly from uh, different universities or, and required textbooks from all different high, high schools, middle schools, uh, colleges, all of the sorts. Here, here on Purchased, uh, if you're signed into your Apple account, anything that you've ever purchased, whether it be an audio book, a uh, regular book, uh, music or movies will show up in your purchase section and if you look in this top left corner here uh, That's the library you click that will take you directly to the library of your uh, of your music folder Downloads this would show all the new music that or movies or whatever that's downloading at that current moment Now let's go back to music and kind of just show you just kind of browse around in here These are all your new releases new and noteworthy. It's all gonna be the same for your uh, movies as well as TV shows and scroll down gives you what's hot New indie music. Um, this kind of you can sign in here. Uh, support if you accidentally download the same uh, video or music twice. You can usually contact Apple, and they're great with their customer service. They'll get back to you right away. They got free music, music videos. So let's say um, I'm interested in. Let's see here, something that I would like to buy. Um, well, let's just go into the new Mission Impossible soundtrack. This will go gives you all the different music. You can click on here. Okay, that's a popular, the most popular one. So let's go ahead and click the number two, and that will play. So the traditional Mission Impossible song. And if you're interested, after demoing it, you can click the 99 cent thing, and it will ask if you want to buy the song. You can go and click buy song, and then it will do a little motion there, kind of signalizes that it did it. And right now, if you're logged in, all you would do is type in uh, your password, and then it would directly download to your downloads folder right over here um, now if you knew of a specific song you wanted to search for if you want to do okay I wanted the a Beatles song so I'm just gonna type in the Be uh, Beatles and then I see all of the different things that come up here I'm just gonna click the Beatles there brings that right up you can do that with almost any artist and iTunes is usually good with finding a uh, little uh, what you're typing in so if you don't know how to spell the name correctly or anything like that usually you'll, you'll be able to find it within a few searches now let's go ahead and click the number one CD. Just like before, if you purchase a song, all the same type of thing. You can purchase a CD at the price, click that, you can buy the whole album. Um, now that's pretty much it for the iTunes store. And remember, just kind of search around, play around with it, and you'll figure it out pretty easily. Uh, signing off.